What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. Have you shoplifted the booty? Like, you know, people talk about, you know, we've talked about single mothers and not and people have said don't date single mothers. I'm on the other side of that because I got a kid, so I can't say don't date a single mother when I got a kid. I got a one a, a one rule. I got one so I could date somebody with zero, one, or two. That's it. So, here's the thing. For all you guys who, who don't want to admit, excuse me, that you've been dating single mothers because they're desperate. You know, no, you know, they, they, they're desperate in a, in a sense of they want some type of company and companionship. You can sniff on them when they really need or want somebody because, you know, being a single mom is a scarlet letter for certain type of, for certain type of guys. So if, if they even get in the ballpark of that type of guy, oh man, she's going to try to roll out the red carpet. And there are a lot of guys who fall in love with the kid, but they love the kid more than the woman. The kid is great. She, yeah, she all right. You know, the kid is wonderful, but you know what I'm saying? But her, I just, I just need a super freak. And I know she can be a super freak because she's really doing her best to hold on to any piece of a man. Like, oh, and she going to fight for this. Even though, uh, I just need a place to stay. I just need somebody to lay up in. Um, I just need to feel, I need to, I need to practice my relationship skills with this person who I'm going to pump and dump. And see, here's the problem. You know, shoplifting the pootie has karma. So don't forget about the guys who went out shoplifting the pootie from the single moms and then got back on, into the streets and was single. And mm, a single woman with no kids shoplifted your wallet. She shoplifted your time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she shoplifted your inner self. Like she just said, mm, give me that. Mm, squeeze all this about you. Because what you weren't willing to do for the single mom, you was willing to do for the single thought. And you didn't recognize that maybe the single mom is better than the thought you wanted to chase. So, have you shoplifted the booty? The answer is absolutely, positively, unequivocally, yes. Um, but here's my twist on this. Have you been shoplifted by the pooty too? See, some of these single moms already know, mm, I can see what this is. He, he, he looked like he, he, he looked like he halfway decent. He working with something. He desperate. He needs a place to stay. Mm -hmm. I ain't really had something real in a minute. You know, my closet is full of these toys. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna shop. I'm, I'm gonna shoplift this 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 dude right quick. I'm gonna shoplift the pooty on this dude. I'm gonna, you know, he ain't as attractive as I want. I can think about somebody else. I can think about the Rock or, uh, you know, I don't know Idris Elba. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna be screwing somebody else. You know, uh, th you know, think of think of Rick Ross if he a big guy. Uh, you know, I'm gonna make him go oh oh that's Biggie. Whatever, both of them mix it together. Whatever. Um, so here's the thing about that. You guys are getting upset because she shoplifted your pootie when you was trying to shoplift her pootie, and now you in Red Pill Rage. No, 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 play. No, no, no. Uh, ain't no honor amongst thieves is what I'm trying to tell you. So now if you're going to play this game, because it's a game, it's, re it's really a game. Do yourself a favor and don't shoplift the pootie and create another baby. Because see, some of y'all, you know, you want to shoplift the pootie and, and you going raw. You don't shop, you shoplift with gloves on, player. Like, you don't need your fingerprints everywhere. But you want to shoplift the pootie and go raw. And now, now she breastfeeding. It's your baby. Mm-hmm. Now you doing, you know, nine months to life. Um... 
Have you done this before? Some of y'all have, some of y'all haven't. Some of y'all doing it, some of y'all practicing, some of y'all about to do it. You know, for any 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 brother can can understand this, when you graduate as a man, you used to be the kid at the barber shop looking at the men, looking at your mama's butt and giving them that look, man, if I were, ooh, when I turn 16, I'm gonna beat, ooh, I'm gonna beat Mr. Harold ass. And then, you know, now you in the barber shop looking at, you know, some kids mama ass, I'm like, Hey, little man, I'm looking at your mama. Man. She need this. That's why she here. She got no business walking in here like that. Look at that outfit. She looking for it. She ain't even got no drawers on. You can't tell though. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going mm -hmm, to holler at your mama. Hey, 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 sweet thing. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Let me holler at you. Let me holler at you. You know, I just want to borrow you for a minute. I just want to talk to you. You just sit down right next to me while you, you, you son get a haircut. And mean mug me because I'm trying to get his mama bent over while he at school. So, I know you have, so just admit it and stop playing this, oh, don't date single moms because a lot of y'all are. A lot of y'all are. She is your, she is your, I couldn't get nobody at the club phone call, like, and she's already in lingerie waiting. Some of them are fine. Some of them are bad built, but she waiting. She waiting. You yeah, struck out again. Well, let me. Uh, uh, it's shoplifting season. Yeah, so, you see, it goes from sundress season to shoplifting season. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch on the next one. Peace.